Welcome to another edition of Your Daily Five. I'm your host, John Colucci, Johnny Scan. Fascinating scan to take a look at today. We call this the Lower Bollinger Band Pop and Run. We're going to take a look at when price dips below the Lower Bollinger Band and then moves up from there. So, Lower Band Tag and Move Up. A little bit on the Bollinger Band. Fascinating indicator volatility based bands and they are based on standard deviation looking for uh, movement around a 20 period moving average here's a little blurb on the calculation the 20 day SMA is the uh, middle line the lower and the upper bands are spaced based on standard deviation so Go ahead and take a look at that fascinating article in the chart school over at Stock Chart. So let's take a look at how we would find a lower band pop. First of all, we're going to use indices simplification of uh, a development on the scan. And the language is this, the minimum 10 period low, so not close, but low value on the day will be lower than the lower Bollinger Band based on the standard uh, calculations of 22 and the closing price. You'll see that uh, develop more in the stock charts article. So we also now want our current close to be greater than the lower band. So we had a low below the band sometime during the last 10 days and now we have a close greater than the lower band. So pop back above the band. We're also going to insist that our simple moving average, which is the middle line of the Bollinger Band configuration, that it, over the last 10 periods, it has a, a positive rate of change. In other words, the uh, value of the SMA 20 today is greater than it was 10 periods ago. We're also going to use that uh, rate of change calculation to rank our results. So in this particular application, we're going to get the stocks that have the greatest 10 period rate of change for their 20 period SMA first. If we use the word ascending after the ranking, we would get the opposite results. We get the smallest first. Let's take a look at what happens when we run this scan. We have 48 results from all the various indices there. Well over a thousand stocks, 48 have given us a Bollinger Band pop and return into the bands uh, over the last 10 days, some period over the last 10 days. We see that we did get the sort that we asked for and our first stock is uh, uh, Hibbit Sports. We're going to take a look at that in a minute, but look at how our rate of change is greatest at the top, least at the bottom. Very interesting. That has implications for the proximity to the band. We'll take a look at that in a minute too. Let's take a look at our first stock, which is Hibbit Sports, H, symbol HIBB. This particular stock has done a very nice job of creating a base and then just a very, very small uh, two periods of clo uh, low below the lower band. This would form in the world of Wyckoff a springy type event. We see it is uh, lower than uh, uh, anything else in this particular configuration, that structure. And it did immediately jump up to both the top of the structure and moved up and above the band. Note that our rate of change on this dotted line, which is our 20 period SMA as a part of the Muller Japan construct, is uh, with positive slope over this period. So based on what we see here, first question always when scanning is, did I receive a result that reflects what I requested in the scan. Here we did clearly. We're going to have some issues with this scan. We're going to cover that later on. But note the other things that are going on on the chart because this can provide a fertile ground for future scanning. First, 
Notice the OBV lines. Here we have uh, the OBV line and cyan, the 10 period moving average of OBV and the 50, red and blue on those. But notice how we uh, changed the slope and the order of the OBV lines. And the one that's of particular interest to me is the 10 period crossing the 50 period OBV SMA and both adopting positive slope afterwards. That tends to be, in my experience, a very powerful indication that the stock is under accumulation. We see that downward momentum stopped and we also have an interesting constriction of the Bollinger Bands. We've done some work there. Constriction is a low volatility and often low volatility precedes a period of higher volatility. Again, very interesting stuff in the stock charts, chart school article on the Bollinger Bands. We see that relative strength to the S&P is starting to crawl up and look at the slope on our uh, MACD line it was even uh, preceded the OBV cross a little bit. So we got our pop. We have a lot of things going on on the chart that are positive indications. All very good. Interesting stock in an otherwise difficult consumer discretionary sector. Let's take a look at our next stock. Here we have a Kukla and Sofa in the semiconductor space. Been an interesting space as indicated on this chart. Certainly a long basing period all the way back to October last year, possibly more depending on what happened outside the view of our chart. We do see some troubling implications on the OBV trending down, but look what we have on the chart itself. We had a lower band pop in late April, which was preceded by a run up relatively low quality on that particular rally. It's a lot of overlapping give and take, and it certainly came right back down and tagged the band again. Now we cannot see exactly the relationship of the low to the band. It's obscured by the price label, but we see we have a rally of decent quality up to the upper band and we're holding above the 20 period midline, which also has the positive slope that we requested. We do see relative strength starting to pick back up and a positive slope on the MACD lines, although uh, really not well above the zero line there. So interesting chart in the semiconductor space. Now, one of the things that I noticed when running this scan is we're getting some apparently anomalous results. An anomalous result is a result that does not track the request that was made. So here we see an interesting uh, specialty chem and spec. We see the OBV lines are crossed in the correct order and both adopting generally positive slope since back in April. Nice move up on the 20 period SMA that is the midline of the Bollinger Band. Relative strike nice and look at how high we are uh, above the zero line on the MACD. A little bit of slowing there but generally positive. And this would be in an area that we would call backing up action in the world of Wyckoff. But the thing we don't see on this chart is the lower band tag. Where is our lower band tag? So a couple of low bars there are pointed out with the question mark. Where is the lower band tag? We really don't see it. So. This would be an anomalous result. This can happen. There can be a random hair somewhere out in there uh, in the search results. You have to monitor these at all times. This is why we set our charts to reflect the scan terms that we're using. Here we have the Bollinger Band, some additional items, but the key is you have to set your chart up to reflect your scan terms. So now we have a question about are we asking the right things? We have received correct results in some instances, but here's one that is not correct. Why did that happen? Let's take a look at our next chart. 
here we do have a significant penetration of the lower band. That's exactly what we asked for. It's here. Look at how we have beautiful upsloping uh, price action here and we have a similar um, uh, excuse me on the OBV lines similar nice uptrend on uh, the uh, relative strength and some type of basing action in here with a move up and through the upper band so here we see lower band tag rally off series of lower band tags but look at the negative slope on our um, Midline's uh, 20 period SMA and here that 20 period SMA adopts positive slope and we get our band tag lower band tag with positive slope on the rate of, uh, rate of change for the SMA and boom we're right up to the top so that's say 70 to 85 as a move that's substantial over a period of 10 to 14 days interesting result there and that reflects what we requested so that's Boise Cascade in the building material area look at that 3.72 PE and a half percent dividend interesting stuff there here's another one Vera Bradley clothing accessories another discretionary we see a very prominent band tag here possibly another here within our period C uh, 5.70 and the lower more recent band so we have volume picking up we have generally declining uh, price structure over the last really seven eight months and we now have some indication that things might be slowing look at how our uh, OBV lines are trying to cross our relative strength still in a downtrend and weak so that's a warning for us the MACD is turned down also against a uh, uh, dramatically higher volume in the past few days so what is this chart telling us what does this chart say to you a little bit earlier now why is this one earlier than the other ones we looked at well the reason is our sort criteria when we sort to get the largest rate of change on a 10 period uh, SMA first we're going to get the ones with the least rate of change as we go down the list least rate of change means closer in proximity to the lower band you could also sort by proximity to the lower band itself and see what you get but in this particular case we use the rate of change indicator we did that because I often use a piece of the scan logic as part of the sorting criteria and that way we're really echoing the scan terms into the sort criteria very very powerful technique uh, some of these techniques we use in the Wyckoff market report this is a scanning based market report that looks at the presence or absence of Wyckoff elements as a part of market analysis. Thanks for watching. This is another edition of Your Daily Five. I'm your host, John Colucci, Johnny Scan. Thanks for watching. Hey, Grayson Rose here with Stock Charts. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, consider giving it a like down below. Maybe leave us a comment. And if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe at the link up above. We're going to bring you daily content from an incredible collection of technical analysts and financial experts.